Okay, everybody, we're going to get the call rolling here. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody to our first ever live webinar. What an exciting day this is. A little scary, but exciting. Um, Beings as I'm, I, I can hear you. Uh, Mike says he can hear me, so I guess we're all in good shape, even though the one conference line was acting up a little bit. So we're just really excited. You're, uh, we're just going to load up the start button here in a second and uh, get it, get the ball rolling. So there you have it. I mean, you've probably already seen this slide before, but this is our first slide here. And uh, basically, um, we've got a fantastic event light up today. Um, you know, right now, we've been doing a lot of trainings around the country over the last number of months, the live PowerPoint presentations, and I'd say we got pretty good at it. We're getting some rave reviews, and, but we don't like to travel that much, and we haven't been all, you know, we don't want to go all over the country. So why not take our training that we do live and put it online. And of course, you've been hearing a lot about webinars out there. So that's really what we've do we're doing here. This is a live becoming a premier.com training done on the computer. And I think you're just going to have a blast. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, joining me on the call is Terry. I hope she's got dialed back in here. We've had the, a few technical problems. She'll be joining us a little bit later on here. And, okay, there she is. Fantastic. So. So we're going to get the ball rolling, and you see the becomingapremier.com uh, front page. Uh, if you're not, uh, haven't joined our newsletter yet, you will want to join our newsletter, and you'll see me pointing to our join email list. This is where you should be entering new members as they join your team to join our loop so that they get notices on conference calls. And uh, you can send them to this page, becomingapremier.com, or you can go into this area here and enter their email addresses. Really, this is something that I think the ball has dropped on a lot, not getting your new members into our loop so that they know about the calls that are coming up. And, of course, our call schedule is here as well. Okay, so uh, let's get the ball rolling. Zango Revolution 2007. You know, this is a picture that, you know, when I'm doing my live presentations, you know, I'm all dressed up like this. You can see my jacket on here, you know, and I got my pants, and I'm all dressed up like this. When I do my live presentations, I love to start it off with, look, this is, you know, this person that you see here in front of you is not the real me, you know, <laughs> because it isn't the real me. You know, the real me looks more like that. That is how I look when I, and that, in fact, <laughs> I have to tell you guys, that's just about what I look right now. You can see that, uh, you know, that, that the me there, there's my slippers, my famous slippers that I wear 330 days out of the year. I got my jogging pants on here. You can see them. Um, I, got, I got my headset on. I'm on the back deck, you know, making phone calls. I mean, this is basically where I like to do business. That's what I like. That's what I really look like. And, uh, you know, this is a home business, so I think it's a, kind of a bit of a joke that, you know, we get up in the morning and uh, we dress like this and uh, wear those same jogging pants and, and everything. And, you know, and, then, and then I get all dressed up in a suit or a sport jacket and go to a Zango meeting. It's kind of funny, isn't it? How do we get on the webinar? So anyway, uh, what happened to us? In June of 2003, mm -hmm. many of you have heard this story, we had the financial rug pulled from underneath our feet. And it was not very strong feet as it was. I mean, we were, we were just getting our, our – starting to make some money. We woke up one morning in June, and no one was answering the phones of the company we were with. Has that happened to anybody here? You know, no answering the phones, and our income stopped immediately, and we didn't know exactly. We didn't do anything for a while. We just kind of sat around and didn't know what to do next. And then suddenly, in July of 2003, out of the blue from somebody we didn't know, we got this 13-page fax all about this new company that was already doing $3 million a month or something, taking the industry by storm. And, and gosh, you know, already, and, 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 <laughs> and we were thinking, wow, you know, this thing is already on fire. We, and, and here's what happened, basically. We got the facts. It got our attention. We went online to do research, and, and we, we came to mymangosteen.com, and we saw something there that we really liked. I thought, okay, these guys really know the Internet, and I'll never forget the date. Terry and I sat down in front of the computer on a, on a Saturday night, you know, and, and we watched Joe's story, and it was like, wow. I mean, she turns around to me after watching that, and she says, this is it, Art. Let's go. This is the one. And, and, and I, you know, now, 
you know, some advice for you, some of you guys that have been that have been married, you know, a long time. When your wife does something crazy out of the box, please pay attention. And that's what I did. I mean, this was highly unusual of her. She felt something about this. She knew something where I was still wanting to think about it. And I was kicking the tires, and I was calling people, and I was talking to people. And, and at the same time, here she was basically saying, hey, when are you going to get some of that juice? I want some of that juice. Get going here. So, so anyway, that's how the ball got rolling. We got signed up, and we were so fortunate, actually, that uh, Joe Morton was coming into Seattle about 10 days later, and we went to that very first meeting as 1K distributors. We brought Rod and Shannon Culp with us. Yvonne and Evermarie started. There was six of us there at the first meeting. One case, about 45 people. And here's a picture of Joe and Karen, his wife, and us in Venice, for gosh sakes, about, uh, gosh, it's, it's almost two years in North Dakota now that we won that trip to Europe for becoming 200K. But we just fell in love with Joe, if you will, that night because he spent about an hour and a half with us after the meeting was over. And, and we were just amazed. I thought to myself, wow, this guy is sharp. Not only, I mean, it wasn't just that he was a nice guy, but he was willing to spend the time with me. And I thought to myself, you know what? He's not the only guy out there. There's five other founders that are just as committed, just as smart. And we have this incredible management team. No question about it. And what about the juice? I mean, here we are in the midst of a nutritional storm out there. People are wanting to take nutritional supplements. But I can tell you this. People are spending billions of dollars a day on supplements, and 98% of them have no idea whether it's working or not. Does this stuff do anything? They have no idea. I've questioned many people on it. We have something that works. We have something that people will get on it and take it and take it properly and correctly for for two, two weeks, 30 days. There's a phone. Uh, <laughs> Naturally, something's going to have to happen. You know, they will see some results. It's a fantastic product, and uh, and uh, you know that's the foundation for our entire business. So, what is it about it? Gosh, I mean, it's a category creator. It's the first time this product is brought to market. It's highly consumable. You know, it has lots of science on it. It tastes delicious. It's a powerful natural anti-inflammatory. It's an antioxidant, and it works. And it's according to Dr. Les Berenson, he's got a great thing on prevention. And, and you can see what Dr. J. Frederick Templeman has to say. But I'm going through this section very quickly so we can get into the actual training. But it's a fantastic product that really delivers results for people. And at the same time, we have this whole buzz going on in the industry about inflammation. You know, this is an older Time Magazine article, The Secret Killer. I mean, hardly a week goes by that you don't see something about inflammation. And gosh, I mean, chronic inflammation. Look at this. Here's another one, and some of you have seen this before. Newsweek, the root of all illness. And what does it say in there? Inflammation is emerging as the alpha and the omega of heart disease. I mean, inflammation is involved in many different disease processes. And here we have a natural anti-inflammatory. And I wanted to briefly cover the CRP study that Dr. Von Johnson talked when he was in Seattle here a couple of months ago. And I know this looks a little technical, and I'm not going to get into all the details. Many of you may have seen this in an email, and, and I've got this, this test done in an email. But basically, this is an informal little study in his office. It's not a double-blind clinical study, just a little study that he did in his office on the effect of C-reactive protein, which is a marker for inflammation. If you want to test for inflammation in the body, what you do is you take a test called high sensitivity C-reactive protein. One to three is considered normal. <clears throat> so what he did is he took blood samples from 47 of his patients and he gave them only two ounces of Zango per day. I don't even think he told them to break the ounces up. And how did he come up with two ounces? A bottle will last, uh, is about based on a bottle lasting a month or something crazy like that. No, that doesn't work. Two bottles, I guess it would be. So he took blood samples again and measured their CRP. What are the results of the 30? Only 38 of those 47 patients came back, and every one of them lowered their CRP levels into the normal range. And so then he did something else, and this is really interesting. I think you're going to like this. I mean, here's a sample of five different people here. And of these five people, these are people, and you can see, uh, sample number one here, you can see their initial um, uh, CRP test here of 55 dropping down to 
2.7. I'm having a little trouble with my pointer. It seems to disappear. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's what happens. Um, the pointer doesn't always point. So there it is. You see, now it's back. It kind of disappears. This is a little funny thing that's happening. So there you have, you can see the, the 55 dropping down to 2.7. And, and all of these, look how dramatic they're, they're, and this is an inflammation factor. And we know inflammation is involved in many different disease processes. We have something natural that is reducing inflammation in people. Anyway, these five people, they thought, well, I'll try some other kind of mangosteen product. You know, one of them had a brother-in-law that has free mangosteen, and they all went on different mangosteen products. And so he said, okay, yeah, that's fine. You know, go on those ones for 30 days, and I'll test you again, and let's see how your CRP is doing. You know, every single one of those people that went on other mangosteen products their CRP test went right up to normal, one of them even higher than it was before. And so being a smart doctor, he says, well, let's do it again. Let's get you back on this Zango juice, and let's try it again. And what did he find? Every single one of these CRPs, they went back down. So it's a pretty phenomenal thing. Billion-dollar brand. Gosh, is Zango on fire or not? And many of you have heard we're going to be introducing a new bottle. And here is the way that it – this is the first bottle on the left-hand side. That's what it looked like. How many of you guys were around when that bottle was here, right? And on the right side, that's our current bottle. Beautiful uh, rendition. But look at this. There's the new one. Isn't that hot? Yeah, that's the next evolution. And it's got the, uh, the little hat man is still there, but Zango is bold. So people can see exactly what it is that they're getting. And they've got up at the top on the cap, you'll see the new whole fruit label. So this is something I just wanted to briefly show you that we just heard about at the Elevation Retreat. Believe me, Zango has all the bases covered. They have the management team. They have the product. You know, they have the branding. They have the most incredible event schedule in the history of network marketing. Uh, you know, half of the battle is finding the right thing, I can tell you that. And if, you, if, you're, if you're, like Sherman Uncofer likes to say, if you're running full speed on the deck of the Titanic, you're still going to go down with that ship. So you're on the right ship. It's not going anywhere. Your dreams are safe with Zango. And look at where we rank. I mean, you've seen this slide before. It's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, four years in business now, already number five. Some people are saying number four. Well, who cares? It's one or the other. And one product, obviously something special is happening here. So let's shift gears a little bit here. You know, who has a dream? Does anyone have dreams out there? You know, those of you listening, do you have dreams? I'm telling you what. Everything in life starts with a dream. The computer you are looking at right now was someone's dream. The house that you're living in was someone's dream. The chair that you're sitting on was someone's dream. Somebody had an idea. Somebody had a thought here. And the thought was to create something, you know, and it has to come from that dream. You have to have a reason to want to do this. You have to have a dream, something that is greater than your fear and your doubt and your lack and your worry, something that is propelling you to step up and have a dream. And I'm going to ask Terry to come on here right now because she basically, um, she's the one that I think launched the business here. Terry, uh, why don't you come on here and talk about this little picture on here? Well, you know, the picture that you're looking at right now is my computer, and I'm sitting at my desk, and I'm holding the papers that I would phone the people with when I was doing follow-up. And as you can see, my dreams were I wanted to go to Phuket, Thailand, which I actually pasted on my computer. I had a dream to go and see the little children and to take a, a full suitcase of goodies and give to each of the child uh, in, in Phuket, Thailand, which I so enjoyed doing. That was my fondest moment. And on the left-hand side, you'll see is my car. I had not had a car for 22 years. I was always driving Art's car, and uh, that was fine, but I wanted my own car. So I had a dream, and I had passion, but I knew that if I wanted these things, I was going to have to step out and step up. I was going to have to step out of my comfort zone. I've been working with Art for over 20-odd years in network marketing, and, you know, I was always the male lady, and the male lady was fine, but I knew I needed to do something bigger this time. I knew that I had a purpose. I had a why. My why was to, of course, get us out of debt, but I, you also have to have a dream, something that can push you beyond your fears. 
And so when I came out of my closet, so to speak, and stepped out and stepped up, I turned to Art on a Monday morning, and I said, you know, this is great, but and the mail is great, but I really want to do something to participate in a higher purpose here. And so I said, you know, what could I do? And we were one case at this time. And so I wanted to move this thing forward faster. And so he said, well, why don't you just kind of phone everyone? And I said, phone everyone? What would I say to them, you know? And, you know, everybody's afraid to pick up the phone. And so I went uh, into the living room, and I took my pieces of paper, which you can see me holding there at my desk, and I shut the door. I didn't want Art to hear me. What would I say to these people? He said, well, just welcome them. So I phoned them, and I said, hi, this is Terry with Van Gogh. This is just a service call. I just wanted to make sure, did you get your juice? And if you got your juice, make sure you shake the bottles up every time you take your ounces. And take those ounces with your meals for best results. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me. And I gave my phone number. And you know, 80% of the people that I would phone, I would always just get an answering machine. So, But the other people that were home were usually people that had some challenge. And that's why they weren't working. And so I, we actually called this a follow-up call. And I was surprised how many people got their juice, but it was still sitting at the door. Or they got their juice and they forgot to shake the bottle. Or I had to do a, l a few little troubleshootings where they hadn't received their juice yet. And so to make sure that everybody got it. So I would make these phone calls every day. And it was so powerful. I used to tell Art that I was getting the best job here because he was right. in the den on the computer and here I was in the living room on my headset and phone and my papers and I was getting all the great stories, the results that people were getting on this great juice. I can remember thinking when I went to bed, I could hardly wait to get up the next morning to phone these people to help them. You see, you had to come from a caring heart and so that was my job and so as the time went on, after a year and a half, I realized that one month, just before Thanksgiving, I was phoning 750 new people every month. And I turned to Art again on a Monday morning. I said, you know what, Art? I think my job has to change. And so it did change again. I had to change again. I had to take it up another level. So I started doing coaching calls. I started uh, talking to the leaders and helping them learn and know how to do follow-up. And so that was how this all began. But, yes, I got my dream, you know. It was really important that when you do dream the dream, yes, we did do, go to Phuket, Thailand. And, yes, I did get my car. And it was very exciting. I can never, I'll never forget the day I went in to pay cash for the car. I mean, I'm just so proud of that. And, yes, we got out of debt. And so here you can see Rod and, or, uh, Art and I with the, uh, with the elephant and, and Phuket, Thailand. I mean, it was an amazing experience. That first trip to Thailand that the company pays for, when you turn premier, is very exciting. So every step of the way, Art and I would, would figure out what we wanted to be when we were premier. Okay, now we want to be 100K. Then we want to be 200K. And yes, we had our dream, and I pasted it on my computer to be 500K. And so it's been an amazing journey for us, and I'm just so grateful for all of you that have helped participate in our dream. Fantastic job, Terry. Just love to hear that story. And, yes, you know, I mean, we're getting all the credit here, but it's all of you out there that are building your own businesses, have your own dreams, working on your own goals. I mean, there's nothing like this industry. So what about this? Don't you love this guy? Show me the money, you know? I love this guy. Isn't that what we all want? We want to be rolling in the dough, right? So let's get into more of the business part of it. First of all, I want to cover some things that may help your belief system. What does Warren Buffett know that you don't know? Warren Buffett happens to be the richest guy in the world, or one of them. He's almost as rich as Bill Gates, let's put it that way. I'll tell you how rich he is. He just actually gave $36 billion to the Bill Gates Foundation charity. That's how rich he is. What does he know that you don't know? Well, he knows that network marketing is here to stay and it is a trend. And if you get those people out there that say, oh, that network marketing thing, you know, that's a scam or whatever, listen, tell them, well, maybe you should do some more research. Have you ever heard of Warren Buffett? 
He's just he's like one of the second richest guy in the world. He's known for being able to pick stocks and and hang on to them for 10 or 15 years. Well, he just bought a network marketing company called Pampered Chef. So perhaps you better find out what Warren knows. And you've heard about Robert Kiyosaki, don't you? Timing is everything in business. And I love this book here. You've got to get a copy of this book called The Business School. This is something that will, again, help your belief system. This guy is very, very famous with his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And what does he say? If I had to do it over, all over again, rather than build an old-style type of business, I would have started building a network marketing business. And, and, uh, and, you know, this book really changed my life. And here's another thing that he had to say, and, and I think this is so true. The main reason people struggle financially is because they have spent years in school but have learned nothing about money. We, you know, you're not taught anything about money in school, I can tell you that. And so he likes to talk about his cash flow quadrant, and I don't have time to go into it. I really highly recommend you get the business school book. Go through it yourself. But what he's really talking about is most of you on the call are stuck in the E quadrant over here. You're an employee, and there's no wealth as an employee. I think everybody understands that. And if you're fortunate enough or unfortunate enough, depending on how you look at it, you might get into the S quadrant here, self-employed. That's no good either because you still have no leverage. There's no wealth in that. He tells us if you want to make money, you've got to be in the right side. And this is the investment side. So if you've got a million dollars in the bank, uh, you're in good shape. If you know, how are you going to get into the right side of the quadrant? The big business quadrant is where there is leverage. You know, we sponsored 20-some people our first six months. That's grown into a network of 28,000 people. That's what you call leverage. So for 35 bucks, you can leverage yourself, get into the big business quadrant in network marketing. So now we're going to talk about our system. This is the system that has created our success. You know, it's been a phenomenal ride. We hit uh, 200K premiere in 15 months in Zango. We're one of only 10 people to hit 500K premiere. I mentioned 28,000 members. Nine people we've brought into the business have reached the premiere level. And I don't know. There may be uh, one or two that have brought in more than that in Zango, but, uh, you know, that's a pretty phenomenal track record, isn't it? So now we're going to go through our system, at least part one of our system today. So the first thing is who you're going to talk to. I mean, the whole foundation of our business and network marketing is talking to people, right? It is is getting is getting in front, getting your message in front of people. That's the foundation for it, you know. So you, it all starts with basically the three markets. That's what I've been talking about for three and a half years here. The three markets: the warm market, the cold market and the meat market. Let's go through those three markets and help you understand them. There's a couple of folks from our warm market and our local warm market here too, people that live close to us, Rod and Shannon Culp. I mentioned them already. They're the ones on the left-hand side there came to that very first meeting with Joe, 100K premieres. Why wouldn't you want to talk to somebody about Rod and Shannon uh, when you get involved in your business? And on the right-hand side, I've got John and Laurel Shaw, and that's just, that picture just taken Monday night with Joe Morton at our event here in Seattle. And that top that Laurel's got on there is she, is she got from Thailand. And, uh, and uh, they just came back from Thailand. And this suit actually was bought in Thailand too, and the shirt, really cool shirt. So when you're talking about your warm market, here's the key. You've got to come from a caring intent. You can't think about what's in it for you. You can't come in with the mindset, hey, I need to sign somebody up. I want to make money. No, people will put, people sense where you're coming from. So you want to come from a caring intent. And the way to do that is very, very simple. And I'm going to go through this little system for you. First of all, the first thing to do is to make a list. Yes, you've got to make a list. Now, if you're reluctant to talk to people to your, that you know, just realize that you're a prisoner of your own doubt. And it's not up to you to decide what is best for them. It's up to them to decide what is best for them. It's up to you to reach out and show something to someone else that might be of assistance to them great life-changing assistance if you would let them know about it and, and, and let the chips fall where they may. But when you make your list and you sit down in a quiet place, this is what I like to do, and just free flow that list. Let the names roll out. Don't think about them at all. Who do you know that would be interested in this juice? And you're going to come up with two different basic kinds of people, people that you think need the product, people that are product-oriented, that have health concerns, 
and you're going to think of people that are entrepreneurial minded, that know a lot of people, that are charismatic, that make lots of money, that you know would be dynamic business builders. Those are the two kinds of people that you're looking for here. And you want both of them. So what you're going to do is sit in that quiet place, let the names roll out of your mind. And know that if their name comes into your mind, there just might be some magical purpose for it. And then once you've finished 10 minutes of writing names down, and for you people that have been in the business, uh, you know, for a year or two or three years, you could start all over again, all over again, uh, with your, with a, and make a brand new list uh, or the list of the same group of people and start all over again. Prospecting is never... Uh, you know, a process, it's a process, it's never an event, right? So then sit down with each person as an individual, look at their name, and ask yourself, why would they be interested in this? What's in it for them? If you can do that, if you can start to think about them rather than yourself, it should help that little monkey mind voice of yours that wants to yak in your ear that's called fear and doubt because you're thinking about them and what's in it for them. And then write down next to their name what's in it for them. Why would you be thinking of them? And so the example I use is John Shull here. The Shull's on the, on the right-hand corner of the screen. When I thought about him, I didn't think about product with John. He's a healthy guy. He, he's a, he likes health, but he's got no health challenges, not that I was aware of. And I knew he, you know, he wasn't going to get excited about a product. But here he was you know, spending three hours driving up or two hours twice a week driving up three hours away from home or two hours away from home and doing home care in somebody's house 24-7 for three days and then driving back home. You know, and I thought that's going to run old, and maybe he'd be interested in getting off the freeway and staying home. And so I actually approached him with what was in it for him was getting off of the freeway and staying home. Hey, John, you know, listen, I might have some. I know you're probably getting tired of driving on that freeway uh, every week. Uh, I've got something here that's working for me. Maybe you need to have a look at this where you can stay home. You won't have to, you know, and then I started talking to him about the product, you see? So I led with what his why was, his reason. And you want to do that with every single person on your list. You know, maybe it was somebody with back pain. Hey, John, and, and listen, and uh, let me give you some magic words. If you've got a pen, you'd be wise to write these words down. And you don't have to use these words, but they are very, very powerful. When you pick up the phone and you're making contact with somebody, you say to them, listen, I've been thinking about you for the last few days. And then you pause. Whoa, I'm telling you what, you will get their attention. And you have been thinking about them. You would never pick, I would never pick up the phone unconsciously and just call somebody out of the blue without thinking about them. So yeah, I've been thinking about you for the last few days. And let's say this is a person that you have targeted, and next to their name on the list, you have put back pain on there. Okay? Let's say that's it. What would I do then? I would say, well, listen, you know, I know you've had a lot of problems with your back, and, and, and I just might have something that will help you. I just discovered this product is doing great things for me. It's anti-inflammatory. Would you like to get some information on it? You notice I said hardly anything there before asking their permission to get some information on. All I'm trying to do here is pique their interest, get their interest up, and then take them through the exposure process that I'm going to be talking to you about a little bit later here. That's all I'm trying to do. And they might ask you some questions, and you might answer what you've got. And you, and, 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 but, you might, but you might not know much. Listen, I don't know that much yet. I've just gotten into it. If you've got an email address, I'll send you a link to my website. And I'm starting to go into the exposure process here and I don't want to get that far yet, but you've got the idea. Make your list of people, what's in it for them, and share your story. Your story is the most powerful thing you have. You know, within 10 days, 90% of the pain in this sore, cranky left shoulder of mine was gone, and I was absolutely amazed. Did you hear that? That's my 10-second story. I've given it a 1,000 times. And your story could be your why that you've gotten into the business. Your story uh, could be someone else's story that you got on the juice. Maybe you have great health, but you should have some story, and that will really help pique their interest. Now, the second market is the cold marketing. And I love cold marketing, but it, it's probably the most difficult market of all. Why? Because you've got to put out some cash. You've got to invest in the cold market. And a lot of people are afraid to invest, you know. I mean, I had a, 
you know, I had that wonderful lady on last week talking about the radio co-op, right? And, and, and you heard the story on there of the guy that came to me and said, Art, I'd like, I've got $100. I'd like to put it into the radio co-op, but if I do that, I can't afford to buy the juice. I said, you can't afford to go in and do any kind of advertising. So don't go into the cold market if you're in lack and if you're financially strapped, if you don't have an investment attitude, and if you're in fear and, and if you're under pressure. Don't even bother in the cold market. I'd rather you stay out of it than to go into it with a wrong mindset because it will set you up for failure. But I love it. I started investing. We had no money. We had credit cards that were all maxed out, you know, and I found some space on the end of one of the cards. Grab some water here. <clears throat> I found some space on the end of one of the cards, and, and that was how we launched our business. And so I started investing about $500 a month in our business, and I was going in the hole every month. And advertising is like that. There's, so I, I, I love the cold market, but I don't like people to go into it with the wrong mindset. There's lots of ways to go into the cold market. We don't have time to go into We could do a whole call on the cold market. But the third market, and this, this may be the most powerful of all, it's called, and I basically take credit for this phrase, the meat market, the people that you meet every single day. And it's about creating prospects through conversations. You know, there's a whole guru out there, a training guru out there that does a whole training based on creating prospects out of thin air. You know, and doesn't that sound exciting? You know, well, that's what the meat market is. It's about creating prospects out of thin air. And it's, it's, what is so powerful about it is there's no limit to it. You know, you're meeting people every single day of your life. And as the saying goes, if you haven't talked to enough people today, go and get $20 worth of gas at four gas stations. You know, it is easy, the, the meat market. Now, I'm not as good at the meat market because I don't leave the house much. You know, but there's others that are masters of the meat market. It's really about being interested in people, asking questions. It's not about dumping on people. It's not about throwing up on people. It's not about pushing something at people. It's about looking for a way to get into a conversation with somebody to see if you have something that could benefit them, to see if you have a match with them. And so how do you do that? You ask questions. How are you doing? Where are you from? How's your health? How long have you worked here? I mean, just open the doors and conversations with people and then look for an opening in the conversation where you could speak or spark some interest in what it is that you have. Okay? You can go into our back office, becomingapremier.com. We've got an entire training on the meat market. But I like to have this slide here, fish from all sides of the boat. I don't like people to do any one market by itself. Two out of three is, is mandatory in my view. Do them all is what I would suggest. And when you do your prospecting and when you do your three markets, remember our exposure process. And we coined this phrase we've been talking about three and a half years ago, online to offline, offline to online. We first, see, Terry fell in love with Joe's story, right? And that got her. And we thought, well, that will probably happen to everybody, right? So we started bringing everybody to our website. You know, cool website, my mangoes team, they know what they're doing, you know. And it is a phenomenal website system, believe me. And, and, but not everybody is going to buy when they go there. It's more like an online brochure, and it won't close people. So don't expect it to do more than it can. But it's the first exposure process. It's a 24-7 presenter, a, per, a perfect presentation. And so the first thing you want to do is get people to your website because they can go there instantly, right now. You could take somebody to your website when we get off of this call. You could take them on a guided tour of your website when we get off of this call. They could be in Alaska, and it wouldn't matter. You can present to them. There's video there. I mean, it presents the whole thing. It's going to back up your story. It's going to back up what you have told them. So you want to get people to your website right away. And then so in that conversation that you're having with your warm market or your meat market person, hey, but what's your email address? Give me your email address. I'd like to get you to my website. Are you online? Are you on the Internet? I'd like to get you a couple websites. And so you grab their email address, and now you have a database building here. And you should all be building a database of contacts of people that you have talked to, and you have their email addresses. But once you've got them to your website, the next thing you want to do is get them an information packet. 
This is the magic of our one-two punch website info packet, and you want every single prospect to do both of these things. Don't drop the ball on this. This is what's got us 28,000 members, info packs. So you, you could have a product CD here. Uh, the magic wand I still like for the business. Uh, a newspaper, a brochure, uh, the X Factor booklet. There's lots of great DVDs out there. Every 20 seconds, there's expiration DVD. You know, very, very powerful information. And use the right tool for the job, as I say on the bottom here. You know, give them the information that's right for them. And the tool that you're excited about is the best tool of all. So online to offline to online with every single prospect. And there's examples of some of the tools in the back office of my Mangosteen. Most of them come from uh, Sound Concepts or mangosteentools.com, x1tools.com. Uh, there's plenty of information. You can go into becomingapremier.com, hit the Getting Started uh, tab on there, and there's a whole list of tools for you to look at and let the tools do the talking. That's what I said. Okay, so the exposure process starts with that website info pack that we just talked about. And, and, and it's going to include your story, which we have already spoken about. So that's part of the exposure process is to speak from your own heart. And don't discount the power of your story. If you don't know what it is, sit down in a quiet place and contemplate. Why did I get involved in this? What have I seen from the Jews? What results have I seen? Use your story. Use other people's stories. But once you've gone through those first two steps, then here are the other steps of the exposure process. And your goal, really is to take every person to, through as many of these steps as possible. You see how powerful this is? These are all the different ways you can expose people. And, and we've got the website, right? Whoops, back up. We've got the website uh, info pack. There's a three-way calling. What a powerful tool three-way calling is. Probably one of the most powerful underutilized uh, tools on our team. Really, not enough three-way calling doing... Why would, you, why would you do a three-way call, you might ask yourself. A three-way call is bringing in the out-of-town expert. You know, some of these people that you know, they might not think that much of you. you know, they might not think that you know that much. So you bring somebody in your upline. And, and I would have a list of people in my upline that I could do three-way calls lift with, and I would use the right person. Naturally, you want to work with your sponsor primarily on three-way calls. But let's say you find a heavy hitter. You know, that has got, and he wants to talk to somebody that's successful. Get your upline premier on the phone with this guy that's made money. Don't underestimate the power of three-way calls. It also teaches people what the new person is saying and when he's looking at this as a business. He's saying to himself, does this work? Can I do it? And the three-way call helps give him confidence that, I can, that he can do it. And then we've got conference calls. This is a conference call. How many people, three-way people into this webinar today. How many people did you call inviting to this webinar today? This is an exposure process. Did you use it or did you not use it? You know, I mean, these tools are out there for you and they work. Events. There's nothing more powerful than events. 350 city meetings in 2006. I'm telling you, we are the greatest event. We are setting industry standards that I don't think that will ever be achieved on the number of events. However, if you don't go to them, they're not worth anything. And if you don't bring new people to them, they're of little value after a while, right? And then we've got convention coming up. So your ultimate goal should be the how many people you can bring to convention and, of course, the Las Vegas event that was just passed. And here's from just a recent event. They're a lot of fun, aren't they? <laughs> that's, a, that's the Mercado clan with Joe Morton uh, and uh, Jen and, and, uh, and uh, Paul up there. This is just Monday night. And then after, we sat down with John and Laurel and Yvonne and Eva Marie and had a great time, had a, had a glass of wine after the event. <clears throat> Down at the bottom, you've got Mike and Melissa Erskine. That's at the Elevation Retreat. Mike took his whole family over there. And I've got to tell you this little story. This is the kind of company we, we have. Uh, we took the Greenleys that were there and, and Roswin Nelson and Mike all out for dinner. We're going to buy him steak at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, you know, fancy steakhouse in Hawaii. Expensive. I'm telling you what, the entrees on there are like about 40 to $50 a piece. You know, well, you know, we love to buy people dinners because when we were broke, we could never buy anybody dinner, right? So, you know, this is a team thing. I mean, these people have made a big commitment to come all the way over to Hawaii. Let's buy them dinner. And so we're, we're having dinner, and we're just having a great time there. The steaks are fantastic. 
you know, Mike loves roofs, and so it was a treat for him. You know, and, and of course, he just won the uh, the cruise for the top sponsor, so I wanted to really treat him special. And, and as we're two-thirds, I would say, through our dinner, in walks Mark Walker, the director of international development. And I know Mark. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a top VP of international. And, and, and so when we went to pay the bill, the waiter said it had already been paid. It's not like a, it was probably a $400 bill. It's already been covered by the guy over there in the corner. Can you imagine that? He was having dinner with his wife over in the other part of the restaurant and picked up the entire tab. That's the kind of company. I've never seen anything like it. Here's another great thing to do. Have a juice party, guys. Have a juice party. Wow, this is a powerful thing to do. Have people over to your house. Show them a DVD. Expiration is the number one thing for juice party. Also, I recommend Mike Healy's How to Present the Perfect Business. You may want to show us uh, Power of One presentation there. But it's really about just getting people to go together, having them taste some juice, tell some stories, show a DVD, whichever one you like, whichever one's appropriate for your team. You can have this once a week. You can have this once a month. You can have it whenever you want. You can have it at your house this week. You can have it at one of the people that attended in two weeks. You know, very powerful. People will come to your house, and once you've got them there, they are a captive audience. You have their attention. They can taste the juice. And the sign-up rate is phenomenal at a juice party. A great thing to have. I highly recommend it. Uh, we, we do a lot of them up here with the Mercado Group. So how do you get started and how do you get going? Well, I mean, this is kind of a basic slide in a way for, for people, but, you know, it's just $35 to become a member. When I'm signing people up, I tell them it's not rocket science. You know, it's not, it's not a 500 or a 1000 or a $5,000 investment here. We're talking 35 bucks. Just get some juice and see what the fuss is all about. Before you decide whether this is going to be a huge business for you, why don't you just get on the juice See if you can get excited about the juice. Make sure you get on the two-case ADP, though. Use one and share one. And, and I'm telling you what, I have people all the time, I'll just get one case, and the, the case is gone before it even hits their doorstep. Um, go through the My Mangosteen website. Do the training in there. Make a decision, for gosh sakes. Everything in life starts with a decision. You have to really decide. You know, you can't... Be half-hearted and expect full-hearted results, right? I mean, you have to really make up your mind that you want to do this and treat it like a business when you do. That has been one of the total keys to our success. We saw this as a business. You know, set up your office space. I mean, you know, get your investment capital together. Get your workspace. Get a business credit card if you have to. I don't care, but set it up like a business. Treat it like a million-dollar business. There's an old saying in the industry Treat it like a hobby, make hobby money. Treat it like a business, make business money. So those are some of the keys. Keep it simple. You know, I think we complicate things. Don't we love to complicate things? Gosh, I think we overcomplicate a lot of things. And it's simple. It's getting the juice out into people's hands. It's telling your story. It's using the tools. You know, it's doing three-way calls. It, it, you know, there is no, you know, secret in network marketing. It's called talking to people. And convention. Gosh, you I mean I got to? I can't get off the line without promoting the next big convention. Nine thousand plus attended, 2006. There's some of our team members. There's that, the Orange Mercado group here, and um, bring your whole team with you. I mean, look, it's fun, you know. But I'll tell you what, you have to decide first. You have to make a decision. You have to commit before you can expect anybody to follow you. You know, you're a leader. You know. If you want to build a big business here, you've got to be the leader you want others to follow. You don't, you don't follow your downline. You lead your vol downline. And next week, okay, this is just the first half, guys. This is just the basic foundation. Next week we're going to get into the leader's mindset for success. Okay, this is a two-part deal, and you're going to be just stunned when you hear about the mindset stuff. Plug into our system, for gosh sakes. We have these calls for you. Attend events. Make sure you You've got that convention lined up. You know what to do. You know what to do already. I mean, there's, it's, it's not that you don't. And I know Terry's got something that she wants to add on this. Well, you know, events are so wonderful, Art, but I'll never forget in Las Vegas the thing that really rings so true is when Gary Hollister stood up and said, who are you going to call on Tuesday? 
because unless you pick up the phone, unless you actually phone these people that you care and love about and you share this great juice, you're not going to build a business. You know, you have to care about these people, but if you don't pick the phone up, that moment is lost. So I urge all of you to ask yourself, who am I going to phone on Monday morning and see how many people you can uh, phone and build your business? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a really simple business, and I've said this before. If you could just talk to one or two people per day, five days a week, I'll give you, uh, I'll, I'll give you two days off a week just like your job does. One or two people a day uh, for five days a week, uh, 50 uh, weeks out of the year for three to five years, you could be wealthy. If I was to say that to you, do you think you could follow that simple plan of success? Do you know it's that simple? Do you know there's hardly anybody that can do that, that simple thing? And how much time does it take to talk to one or two people a day? I think, I think you could talk to a, an average person in 15 minutes. So two people a day is a half an hour a day. Have you got a half an hour to create financial freedom for yourself, to get out of the E quadrant, and at the same time help a lot of people? I mean, a half an hour a day talking to new people, if you could do that five days a week, and then, and then spend another half an hour to an hour a day on the follow-up with the people you've already talked to, with the conference calls, with learning, with events, and all of the other things, you know you could build a huge business. But the foundation of this business, especially when you're new and building, is that talking to new people and bringing new people into the business. You know what to do, you know, but is your dream big enough that you have enough passion to do what you know what to do? And, and can you hold your focus long enough? Can you hold your focus long enough to realize your dream? That's the key to the whole thing. That's the key to the whole thing right there. So the foundation of this business, and let's review what we've talked about today, is the three markets, is, is the online and the offline, is the exposure process, is talking to new people every day, is using all of the tools, is using the upline, is staying connected, is believing in what it is that you have in your hands. We have this phenomenal product, guys. I mean, it is unbelievable what it can do for people. People are spending billions of dollars on nutritional supplements. They really need something that would work. Just reach out to them, you know. Sit down after we get off the phone. This is not a movie <laughs> that we're talking about here. This is your life. So why don't you sit down after the phone and, and think about some people that you need to reach out with. Think about making a bigger commitment to your business. Think about expanding your mind. Think about some of the ways that you can do to increase your belief system. And I'm telling you, your business will be phenomenal. I'm going to close with one other thing here, one last slide. I think it's coming right up here. I love this slide. It's something that I presented in Louisville. And, and um, it's a quote by Gandhi. And he says, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. Isn't that a powerful quote? You know, if you want a better world, you've got to be better, right? If, you've got, if you want a more loving world, be more loving. If you want a more peaceful world, be more peaceful. Everything starts with you. Your whole world starts with you. I've got news for you. Most of your beliefs are inaccurate, and they're all made up, and they're, and they're not necessarily based on anything but just an idea that you accepted once in your mind. So why don't you be the change that you wish to see in the world? You see, I have this vision. And, I, and it's a big vision, and I need to really focus on this vision. You see, I read this book a long time ago, and you know how books are? Sometimes you take, like, one pearl of wisdom from these books, just one thing, and that's all you remember. Sometimes events are like that, one little pearl of wisdom, and that's all you come out of it with. And for me, it was a book called Honest Business, and it was talking about how business – now, listen to this. This is very, very profound. Business has the greatest potential – to change the world of anything that is out there because it brings together people of different races, religions, age groups, cultures, all striving for common goals. It brings people together, and that's business. Isn't that true? It brings people together. And when you apply that to network marketing and this underground network that we're all a part of that is under the mainstream, that can pass information at lightning speed, person to person to person, and share ideas, and share hope, and, and share health with them, and share wealth with people, and, and educate them, and, and help them grow, and help them change their life. I mean, this to me, 
This and Zango. Here we have this incredible company with a caring intent. You know, giving millions of dollars to charity already. You know, 800,000 distributors. Here's my vision. Think about this: 10 million Zango distributors all around the world, all working together for common goals, all with a caring intent, all wanting to help people, all wanting to work together. That can change the world. 10 million. Can you see them? Vision 10 million Zango distributors all around the world with a caring intent, all getting this juice out of the people's hands, helping people create more freedom, giving them more hope in their life, giving them a supportive environment that they can plug into where people are actually cheering them on instead of tearing them down. That's my vision that I wanted to close the first ever uh, becomingapremier.com webinar, 10 million Zango distributors. I see that happening, and that's well more than a billion dollars, guys. You know, that's several billion dollars. That's what we have in our hands here. How many of those are going to be in your team? You know, how big of a piece of the pie would you like? How many of those people would you like to have helped with their lives? How many people would you like to have on your team how big of a, a dream do you have? So I'd like to thank you all for coming on. We had a few little hiccups. It was a lot of fun. And, um, and uh, uh, thanks to uh, our good friend Sam White. It looks like we have this recorded, and we're going to see how it all turned out. Part two is next Saturday on the mindset of success, becomingapremier.com. You're going to love it, and I appreciate you all coming on the call today. Um, Audie, maybe you can open up the phone line and hit star five so that – and say goodbye, and I thank you, thank you, Terry, for coming on and helping me out. Thanks for the whole team. We love you guys. We appreciate you. Uh, we think that you are all fantastic. In fact, you have what it takes. You are all leaders, or you wouldn't be on the call. There's other things you could be doing today, so I appreciate that part of you. And thank you all. So let's open up the phone line so we can say goodbye. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. 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 Bye.